Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that all of you are enjoying your summer vacation. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready to hear a story and quiet our minds and our bodies by singing our song. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I wonder if this could be a parable. It might be. Parables are very precious, like gold. And this is gold. It looks like a present. Parables are like presents. They have already been given to us. We can't buy them or take them or steal them, they are already ours. There's another reason this might be a parable. It has a lid. Sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. They are difficult to go into. But when you enter a parable, there is something very precious inside. Let's take off the lid and see if this makes a parable. Hmm. Let's take a closer look. I wonder what this might be. Once as Jesus was teaching beside the Sea of Galilee, he told three parables about seeds so the people might understand what the kingdom of God is like. He told the parable of the sower and the seeds. He told the parable of the mustard seed and he also told this parable about a farmer and the growing seed. Jesus said, the kingdom of God is like someone who scatters seeds on the ground. And goes home. And sleeps. And gets up. And sleeps. And gets up day and night. The seed sprouts and grows. He doesn't know how. The earth produces of itself. First the stalk. Then the head. and then the full grain. But when the grain is ripe, 
At once the farmer gathers it with his sickle because the harvest has come. I wonder what the farmer did besides sleep and get up while the grain was growing. I wonder how the farmer feels about the seeds while they are growing. I wonder how the farmer feels about the grain when it is time for the harvest. The story you just heard is found in the Bible. The book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 through 29. He also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. Now we're going to say a prayer. I will start the prayer and then I will pause and give you a chance to pray either out loud or in your head and then I will finish the prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for allowing us to be gathered on this day. Even though we can't be together, Lord, thank you that we can still feel your spirit and feel a part of the LaGrave community. Thank you for the gift of parables, Lord. Please hear our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go.